Couple raised abandoned baby squirrel to be the coolest pet ever. Being born in the wild is nothing unusual if you're a squirrel. But imagine being born in someone's bedroom. It sounds insane, but that's how the relationship between a man and one squirrel got started. One day, a man walked into his home and found something unusual in his bed. It turns out that a mother squirrel had built a nest on his bed using dried pines and twigs. Eventually, the squirrel gave birth to two babies. But despite her best intentions, she never returned to look after her babies. This cost one of the squirrels its life and left the other at the mercy of humans. What happened next was heartwarming. A man came home and found two newborn squirrels, just like this one, hanging around his bedroom. They were adorable, but he was beside himself. He had no idea what to do, so he reached out for help. Christina and Michael are wildlife rehabilitators, and they answered the man's urgent distress call. They took the squirrels and tried reuniting the babies with their mother, but their efforts proved futile. Sadly, one of the babies didn't survive, but the other one did, and it was up to them to look after her. It became clear that the mother had no intention of coming back for her cute and chubby youngster. The surviving baby squirrel was a precious, adorable thing that wanted to survive in this world. Unfortunately, her outcome wasn't looking any better than her late sibling, but there was still hope. Whether the baby squirrel survived or not was up in the air, but it stood a chance thanks to these two. Christina and Michael were wildlife gurus who decided to step in and adopt the little one as their own. They named her Thumbelina because of her tiny size, and thankfully she'd made it after all. The now two-year-old eastern gray squirrel managed to survive thanks to Christina and Michael. Thumbelina was lucky to have been adopted by her human foster parents, but there was a downside. Thumbelina's mom never returned, and she'd lost her sister, so she had no interactions with squirrels. Thumbelina was a unique squirrel, and due to her unusual start, she's also in a class of her own. Most wild animals are able to figure things out on their own, but it took Thumbelina a little bit longer. Usually, squirrels only dream of nuts and berries since it's their favorite food, but not Thumbelina. Thumbelina got used to drinking milk from the bottle, so it took a while for her to warm up to nuts. Her interesting food choices weren't the only thing that made Thumbelina stick out like a sore thumb. Unlike others her age, Thumbelina would prefer to sit rather than climb, and she loved to snuggle, too. It seems that her time with humans really prevented her from embracing her squirrel characteristics. In lieu of running, she preferred to walk, and she didn't like climbing or jumping, which was really odd. To make matters even more complicated, she'd embraced humans but shunned her own kind. Her human family tried to get Thumbelina to interact with other squirrels, but she simply refused. You might say that Thumbelina was having a serious identity crisis, or would that be a species crisis? Whatever animal people saw her as, she definitely didn't consider herself a squirrel, not one bit. Her human mom and dad love her so much, and she seems to love playing dress-up all the time. How many squirrels do you know that are into cosplay, or would be willing to dress up as a lobster? It's no wonder that Thumbelina rejected her own kind. She's way too comfy with her human family. She's safe and happy with her mom and dad, but on occasion she can be quite the troublemaker, too. Thumbelina is different in lots of ways, too, especially when it comes to the fall and wintertime. She's an indoor gal, so she's not a fan of the outdoors, especially when the weather gets very cold. She doesn't really like loud noises and is very picky about the things she introduces into her diet. Vacuum cleaners are the noisy enemy, and she prefers avocado, arugula, and sugar snap peas for food. We wish there was more people willing to open their doors and their hearts to a little one like her. Thumbelina's gorgeous. Why don't squirrels make a nest on our beds? We want one just like her.